Okay, welcome back to Deathwing. We are going on our first mission. I'm still sort of interrogating this. I spent most of the last episode giving a bit of a lore dump, which I hope everybody wanted. Uh, whatever. I'm going to end up doing that a bunch during this, this series, probably sharing what knowledge I do have. And as I mentioned before, my knowledge is limited, but I do enjoy it. It's the thing I like about 40k the most. The, the, the lore of the universe is really cool. Oh, those don't rotate. And also they would have been just sticking out of the front of the... Anyway. Probably should have been looking up there. Oh, I just realized... So there were other things in that cutscene I realized I didn't... Um, okay, that's just a dead... Uh, let's see. Um... What was the other thing? Uh, ba, 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 ba. The enemies that we're up against. The uh, Tyranids are... I think they're going to be the primary the primary enemy in this game, is my understanding. Um, they are... They come in various forms. Talked about them a little during... Um, during uh, Necromunda. Um, so you just... You guys are just falling? Okay. Um... Tyranids are a, 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 a sort of, can I climb up that? No. Um, Tyranids are sort of uh, insectoid-ish in nature. They are sort of parasitic. I don't think jumping into the water is gonna be good. Hey guys, where do these staircases lead? Um. They're sort of, they, they, so like the gene stealers and stuff like that from the, when we were playing Necromunda, um, they're all part of the Tyranid hive. The Tyranids and, and the way they're referring to them in that, uh, in that cutscene are basically like, um, they are an all consuming race, at least in the eyes of the Imperium. They basically, their intention is to just spread and grow and um, incorporate new genetic material as much as possible. Um, I was wondering if that servo skull would talk to us. Um, I don't know. I don't know how much wandering I want to do. There's clearly a bunch here. I don't know if it's actually meaningful. Um, I don't know if there's pickups or whatever. Um, oh. Uh, oh, this is just a door. Back to where we came from. Okay, um, what was I saying? Uh, isn't that the door where I came in? Maybe not. Alright, well. I guess I just should have just opened this door before. I just walked past it, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay, I can't un unlock that. Can you unlock that? No. Okay. You're you're kind of in the way. Okay. Um. The ba ba ba. The uh the Tyranids uh they infest everything. And um. Basically, humanity is trying to beat them back as much as possible because um, they basically pose an existential threat to the Imperium and humanity and, um, yeah, that's basically it. Does this not have anti-aliasing? It is on. Sure doesn't look like it. There's a lot of just crunchy pixels. Like it's not, it's not, ter it's not bad. It's not like it's got no anti-aliasing, but there's some stuff going on.
Okay. Uh, enthusiastic announcement. Arc Mechanicus log. Omnissiah knows all, comprehends all. Um, okay, the Omnissiah is how the Mechanicus refers to um, the Emperor. There's a whole thing there that uh, about how basically the the Mechanicus, the Mechanicum, already had their own god when uh, the Emperor uh, came to Mars, which is where they're based. Um, and basically, they co-opted the their sort of techno religion uh, to and and co-opted it so that the the emperor became the manifestation of their god. It's a whole thing. Uh, okay, alert. The sensorium the sensorium have detected a vessel belonging to the ancient to the ancient time of the legions Astarte and the Mechanicum. Indications are that it is in good condition. We must reach this vessel is likely to contain ancient machines, data, and relics. Securing these treasures is an absolute priority. Uh, alert. Machine relics detected. Data compiled. The Omnissiah knows all and comprehends all. Okay. That's basically our mission brief, I guess. Just get to... Can you get out of the way? Or that's not where we're supposed to go. we backing up then? I guess we're backing up. Oh, you know what? I haven't been paying attention to the map because I sort of assumed it wasn't there. Alright, so this looks like... So our radar, it didn't really give us a tutorial on our radar at all. Okay, what do we got? Okay, so these are former Mechanicus who have been corrupted, it looks like. Tech priests. Um, yeah, one of the things I love about, do I have limited ammo or is it just reloads? I think it's just reloads. I think that's an infinity symbol on the, on the side there. Um, one of the things I love about, why is there a, so you see that, that icon on the map, that's the symbol for the the Tyranids, so why? I don't know. Um, anyway, I was saying, one of the reasons I love... Um, I'm also getting lost which way we're going, because this is a rotating map, which is not my preference, and also it has no direction markers on it. Um, what are these markers for? Enemies arrival. Is this literally telling me where the spawns are? That's a little weird. Um, uh, getting distracted again. Um, one of the things I love about 40K is the integration of various, uh, like sort of seemingly disparate themes into like a unified um, fiction. So the hey, uh, we're super technological, but it's our religion is like a super fun world building thing. Um, very, very interesting ideas going on in the writing of 40k. Um, so where did we come from? Here? I actually don't know. Uh, 
I guess I, I should be I should be paying more attention to need to be paying attention to my surroundings more than usual in a game like this because uh, how do we do this again it was uh, wait a minute I've forgotten now uh, oh it was in the map wasn't it right okay so I can enable this turret. Oh God, um, okay, maybe not like that. Okay, so clearly it's not friendly when you, um, <laughs> when you, when you start it. Okay, I need a heal. Thank you. Um, the healing thing is weird because uh, Operation finished. yeah heal yourself um, the healing thing is weird because like generally speaking the whole point of the space marines is supposed to be that they're like their armor is so impervious to normal weapons that they're they're borderline you know godlike to normal normal threats um, and that their their uh, their special genetics are supposed to be make them incredibly self healing um, so anyway uh, all right we're just going to try and make a beeline for the objective which I think is Do I have Oh my sprint is my sprint bar is on the right there and it's very it's very limited. I just saw those. So there were some uh something something slimy looking going down there um, all right what okay I'm having visions that's a extremely dead space but marine power lets me see a prediction of the future is that a does that mean don't go this way damn That's just the reload warning beep. All right, you guys are not great shots. I'm gonna have to get used to that, aren't I? These are some weird spaces. Where the hell? Are they underneath us? This is bizarre. All right. At this point, I'm just wandering out of curiosity more than anything. Didn't even mean to run away from the fight. I just happened. Hmm. No, not in range. Okay. I 
I hope there's no friendly fire because he's not a good shot. Wow, I just... The game spawns to let me do this? Did I say spawns? I meant pauses. No retreat. No surrender. Oh, that was a weird, there was a weird glitch there, like it was loading something. These are some great spaces. I hope they're used to good effect, but um, frankly, currently they are um, sort of encouraging me not to explore them. Okay. You know, I know I'm wearing hundreds of pounds of armor, but um, the idea of a space marine getting winded... What's that little blue box? The idea of a space marine getting winded from, like, three seconds of sprinting is kind of hilarious. Status. Generators fluctuating. The output of the generators is fluctuating wildly since we have docked with the Space Hulk. Generators have needed to be restarted on a regular basis. The Omnicide is surely sending us a message. We are being tested. We must, must recover these relics. We will be able to learn so much from this and in doing so become closer to the Machine God. The Omnicide moves in mysterious ways. Keep the generators under constant supervision. We need continuous flow of power. Begin the usual benedictions. So, about the Mechanicus, or the Mechanicum, um, or, you know, whatever else you want to call them, because they got a whole bunch of names. Um, they don't really understand very well a lot of the technology they find and use. They, oh god, Jesus. Jump scare. Um... Uh, so their whole shtick, basically, is, um, we worship the machine spirit, which is sometimes kind of literal, uh, and sometimes extremely metaphorical. Well, at least to, you know, an outside perspective. Um, it's a, we don't understand how the technology works, but it does work, and so it must be blessed with some internal logic and knowledge and um, soul uh, that like that's that's our that's our whole belief system we're getting farther away let's um, I wish I knew what this white dot was if it's anything um, let's just look real quick um, Are those the servo skulls? Is that what the white dots are? They are, okay. Oh, do the servo skulls uh, show, uh, maybe they're unveiling the, the fog of war on the map. Um, our radar system is very, it's very janky. No surprise from the Mechanicus. Um, Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, so, the Mechanicus basically worships the machines and doesn't really understand how a lot of them work. Um, and so it sort of makes sense, like in, you know, in that old, that old uh, adage that uh, suffic sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Well, yeah, that's kind of how the Mechanicus sees a lot of things. These are not, these are more than machines. Um, they are, you know, basically imbued with 
viewed as being imbued with a sentience um, and a power that is beyond knowledge. So it's, you know, very quickly becomes sort of religious. Major relic found. I don't know what that was. It looked like a bolter, but... Um, I don't know if there's any indication that was there either. Um, is there any limit to how much I can be healed? Operation finished. I think probably not. It's probably just limited by, you know, time. Um, like, if I have the opportunity to do it. Um, keep getting distracted by playing the game and trying to talk about lore at the same time. Um, but there's also lots of things that are genuinely bizarre about the technology of the Imperium and the technology of the Dark Age technology. Because there are a lot of, like, that's a big hole that I'm glad I don't fall in. Um, uh, cause some of it is, like, genuinely weird stuff like AI, uh, which, again, is not allowed under the Imperium, but sometimes little fractured AIs uh, end up in stuff, and they're just like, well, it's useful to us, so it's fine, I guess. Um, but back in the Dark Age, there were AIs that ran entire planets, entire systems, um, and didn't always have humanity's best intentions in mind, and sometimes there were really horrific things that went on. Uh, no surprise there. Um, there's also just, uh, like, lots of machines that do not work on a mechanical level, but work on basically feeding off the warp. Um, the, uh, the, the various, like, really large machines, uh, battle, battle robots and things that you've seen of various kinds, um, are basically, well, okay, so the, the lowest level of that is, um, something like Terminator armor, where a dead Astartes, a dead Battle Brother, a dead Space Marine, all terms for the same thing. All right, so it's starting to show us off the, um, yeah, Xenos just means alien. In this case, we're referring to Tyranids. Um, so a Terminator armor is like this big, big-ish armor. It's, um, you know, sort of like the equivalent of a, a, a tank, um, but it's a walking mech. Uh, it's about a tank in size, I mean. Um, but basically when a an Astartes uh, falls in battle, um, if they're not completely dead or they can be retrieved but they can't be healed, um, they might be sealed in what's called Terminator armor, which is basically this big thing. And through not necessarily like not much of their physical form, but their their astral form, their psychic form, they can continue to battle for the Imperium um, through uh, basically putting their psychic power into um, into this machine. Uh, this gets much different on a larger scale where the very large uh, mechs that I've made reference to in other videos including my mechs video, go watch my mechs video um, the uh, those machines are powered well they are referred to, often referred to as being basically autonomous um, they are not there are, not only are there um, psychers driving those things who are basically slaved to the machines, uh, there are also uh, I, I wish there was a little better indication, like I, I was looking, I only knew to do that based on the map basically, but anyway. Um, there, there, there are psychers basically in a cockpit that are permanently slaved to driving the thing. But also there are, there's like a psyker engine inside there that basically powers the thing. It's not some like nuclear thing. This is, again, I'm, I'm, my, this is my memory is a little hazy. I might not be 100% accurate on this. But um, 
the the weapons and the power source and all that. I probably should have been listening to what he was saying. Um, are basically driven by psyker power, by the focused power of the warp, um, as uh, um, as funneled through human souls. Um, so you have machines that basically don't make any sense and for writing reasons it's kind of a deus ex machina but um it, like it's in that deus ex machina is a very a, a very appropriate sense of terminology um woven into the lore of the world because the machine may not make sense but it doesn't have to because oh it's a dark age of a time of great crusaders scattered throughout the space road okay So why did this one pop up, but the the other one that I picked up did not? I don't know. Um. Uh. So. Also, his his voice is broken. Um. So. Uh. Like, you basically have. A warp engine, or you have a you have a, a an an engine made of human souls that are feeding feeding off of and drawing energy from the warp uh, that then are focused through another psyker who's barely a human anymore um, to then power and direct this enormous machine. So that is all to say that the religion. The pseudo-religious nature of the the Mechanicus is not entirely without basis. It's not that they just don't understand stuff. It's that some of it is genuinely like bizarre and magical. Um, okay, now my now this is a little too sensitive. Okay. This episode has gone on very long, but I'm just gonna let it ride. I don't think I'm gonna edit it. Um, cause I, I've been rambling for too, too long. Um. Oh, now we get actual, uh. So these are some fairly basic enemies for us to to deal with obviously they're barely they're barely doing damage to us and they're dying in one hit I don't love I don't suppose it bound okay I'm gonna re do some rebinding to my mouse um, are we still supposed to Found relics. Brother, original initial boarding strike is proceeding. Lost contact with the squad. Gideon. Receive, retrieve Gideon's beacon signal. Proceed to secure the landing area to establish establish the full bridgehead. Praise the land. Um. Okay. Huh. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to end up doing here. And I don't know if we have to find all the relics or what. So. Huh. Um, does that four mean we have four we uses have of the side gate? Grid at any cost. Our foes approach quickly. We must reactivate local defensive systems to secure the bridge. Okay, so I just got an objective update. I don't know why that... Did I just happen to hit the timing on that? Maybe that was it. Okay, so we got to go up to the front. Okay, we'll take a little break and uh, come back in the next one. <laughs>